Hi everyone, let's solve question number 22. Let S1 is this and S2 is this and we have to find out the relation between S1 and S2. Now usually when we see these kind of series, the first thought that comes to my mind is EGP, right? Because the powers are actually increasing and we have a term multiplied over here. Similarly over here, we, the powers are actually increasing and we have a term multiplied over here. But the problem over here is uh, it's not AGP actually because the term which is being multiplied, it's kind of an HP and that too with alternating sign. It's not exactly an HP, but a similar version of that, but or with alternating sign in the first series. Okay. So definitely we're not going to have a standard kind of series over here. So in such cases, these kind of miscellaneous series, these are usually uh, some expansion written with a constant. Okay. So sometimes it can be raised per X. Sometimes it can be sin X, tan X or ln one plus X. So since we have this kind of power, these kind of power series, three square, three Q plus three, four. So basically that gives me an idea of ln of one plus X. Okay. So I gave this thought process because one shouldn't be, shouldn't be concluding that, okay, I knew this answer and that's why uh, I could find out the series, which, which is being used over there. But the thought process should be building up like this. First, we should be looking for AGP and then we should be seeing the negation of pattern. And then we should be looking at some, some certain miscellaneous series because of these kind of powers. Okay. So in case uh, we, we had factorial over here, we would have used E raised power X or some other series, but since we have Q squares, cubes and raised power fours, the idea comes off ln one plus X. Okay. So if we write ln of one plus X, that is X minus X square by two plus X cube by three plus minus x4 by 4 and so on okay so over here i can see minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 so basically i can see these terms so that gives me uh, the first indication that the series is kind of ln of 1 plus x now if i put x equals to 1 by 3 over here okay that would give me 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 dot 1 by 3 square plus one by three dot one by three cube and so on. So this becomes exactly the series. So this series is nothing but ln of one plus one by three. Okay. Now let us talk about the second series. So the first series S1 came out to be ln of four by three. Now in case of second series, if I put X equals to one by four over here, but the problem over here is we have a minus sign over here. Basically, we have a minus sign over here, but we have a cos sign over here. So what can be done over here? Uh, we can take minus of ln of one plus x, and if we replace x with minus one by four, okay. So in that case, this minus would take care of this negative sign with the x x, and this negative would also be consumed in this one. So that would give me an overall positive series. So if I take a minus sign over here that would give me minus times this series. And if I replace X with minus one by four over here, that would do my work, right? That would give me LN of one, one minus four by three, sorry, one, one minus one by four equals to minus times minus one by four minus one by two dot one by four square minus one by three dot one bar four cube and so on. So this minus gets clubbed with every term and makes it positive. And basically this is the S2. So this was S1 and S2 equals to minus of ln one minus one by four, that is three by four. Now this power goes over here, that becomes minus one. So this becomes ln of four by three only. So S1 and S2 are actually same, okay?